What we're going to do now is we're going to apply a uh, bead of flux and then I'm going to squeegee it across the pads evenly. So I'll just put the bead of gel flux down there and then we get a like, squeegee blade. Which we'll basically put in like so. Can you see that? Yeah. And squeegee across there. Right, so we'll take it to the edge there and we'll just lower the device down to see where, to see where it's. See the balls there, and what we basically do is we line the, the balls of the component and the pads like so at the top on the top row. And the idea being is then you can, by doing that, you can literally you can get the component square. And once you've got it square, you can literally simply move it into position, and it will be square around the whole component. Now it doesn't matter how how big or small the device is; that principle will work on any size component. So we've done that, and then we just bring the component down onto the, onto the board. There's a little damper here that stops you from smashing into the board, so you have a nice, gentle um, uh, landing. So we'll just deactivate the vacuum, move the pickup out of the way. Okay, we're now ready to actually do the heating side. Okay, all we need to do now is put the lens unit into position and we press the align button on the software this activates the focused IR and we use the iris to vary the size of the spot so that we can cover the component precisely deactivate the align button it's also on a timer as well but I've just done it uh, sooner now we can now press the start button I'm just going to mention two other things um, on, the, on the actual board we've got a K-type thermocouple which is measuring the board temperature and we also have a non-contact um, infrared sensor which measures the component temperature throughout the whole of the profile. And this software basically controls all this and so, so, so you will precisely follow the temperature profile automatically going up to reflow and, and, and uh, turning off at the end of the profile as you would in, in a reflow oven. So let's start that and off we go. As you can see on the profile, you've got two lines. You've got blue and a red line. That's actually going on the other red line there. And the blue line represents the back heater temperature, and the red line represents the uh, component temperature. Uh, left hand side, you've got the top heat power, so it's quite low there, so I'm using a little bit of power to keep it on that line. The back heat power, which is at set at 80% on this particular profile. You also have the component temperature in real time and also the PCB temperature. As stated earlier on, it's it's automatic, so you, you don't have to actually do anything at this stage, you just let it follow its temperature profile and it will accurately do this time and time again. It's totally repeatable. The other thing is, if you this is placing a component. If you wanted to remove a component, you, you follow the same profile and at the top here, when it reflows, you remove the device using the pickup. Like a reflow oven, you've got, you've got a soak temperature, you've also got a soak temperature up there as well where it levels off. As I said before, the back heater is doing the macro heating. So the if, the, if there is a temperature difference, the actual top heat will compensate for that automatically. So you see how the back heat is levelling off here, because that's the power, maximum power going to the board, and it's just naturally levelling off, because we, we drop back to about 50%. And then basically the top heat is just doing all the control. So it's precisely controlling it. Bridge reflow, it will precisely just stay close to the line there, switching itself on and off follow that line and now it gets to the end of it it will turn itself off so it's actually following the temperature profile down there so it cools it at a controlled rate so that's also important because if you don't control the temperature going down you can actually thermally shock the device you've just reflowed so just like the same way as, it, as you have in a pro, uh, in the same way you 
control the temperature as, you, as, you, as you're cooling down in a reflow and we do it also uh, with, the, uh, with, our, with our system also. Well that's the end of the profile and uh, that device has been perfectly soldered to the board. This, uh, we generally we allow the board to cool down to about 180 before we actually take it from the jaws um, just to make sure everything is, uh, all the solder is basically uh, solid. Um, and now the board will be ready to either go to, to be tested and then to go to the customer basically.